All right, guys, welcome back to another Sunday Selections. Today, we have a pretty sweet episode for you all. I've been ripping product left and right, so we have some good mail day stuff, some good box rip stuff, so let's just jump into it, shall we? We're going to start off with some Prism Mega Box hits that I got. I think I've ripped like three or four boxes at this point. But as you all know, I'm collecting the Norwich set. So I have some red cracked ice prisms for the PC. Um, Christos, Christos. Red cracked ice. Kenny McLean, red cracked ice. And Millet, Rashika, Rashika, not sure. The reason I collect these, this team, is because what I decided to do this past year was pick one team that was going to get relegated and pretty much just go through the rainbow of their players as long as they don't have any high-profile players, really. And either keep it, sell it, you know, I don't really know. It's just I like to collect things, and that's a cool little uh, thing I'm putting together. And it's been fun. Get most cards for like a dollar so okay so some other hits out of the box we have the red cracked ice rookies that's the next uh few we're gonna go through sergi canos liverpool rookie that's not elliot <laughs> ibrahima Kanate. i think that's how you say it defender i believe yeah sorry i don't think he was on the film there defender Jao Pedro, I know he was getting a lot of hype at one point, but with him getting relegated, I'm not quite sure if he's staying with the team. Oh, here's another one. If he's staying with the team or um, moving on with them, moving on from them, rather. Here's a Chelsea player. We got Reese James. Just found out my brother isn't really going to follow Chelsea anymore, so I'm not sure why I'm continuing to collect Chelsea players, but there you go. Granite Xhaka for Arsenal. My PC personal. Oh, here we go. Lacazette. Red cracked ice. Boom. Not with the club anymore. That's okay. We'll still collect some Lacazette. And we got two of this guy. Boom. Cristiano Ronaldo. I think all said and done, I've found about four of him and maybe six or seven total boxes. I know I said I ripped four. The four I've ripped is recently. I think overall I've ripped around seven to nine, maybe. I can't even recall at this point. But I love this card. I'll probably sell one, keep one for the Ronaldo PC. This card recently just sold on eBay from like seven bucks. I put it up and accepted a buy it now offer, so I need to get this shipped out. But Hyun Min Sun, red cracked ice, and I should save this one. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Went through some mosaic as well as prism, so I just I don't want to show the best card I hit <laughs> out of the mosaic just yet. Okay. So let's do this. Here we go. An Aaron Ramsdale mosaic. I love these cards so much. It's such a nice set. But this is just the silver. And then this one's up for eBay currently on eBay. It's Kevin De Bruyne orange fluorescent. I hit this out of a blaster box. There's only mine and one other card trying to be sold for like 70 bucks. So I think mine's adequately priced. You can check that out on eBay. Mm. So those are super nice cards. And Mateo Kovacic. Will to win orange mosaic. So hit this again out of another blaster. It is on eBay for around $5, I believe. 
And then we have a Joachim Anderson for Crystal Palace. Orange fluorescent rookie. I believe he's a defender. Yep. And we have a Broja. So Armando Broja, silver. I hit one recently, I think on the last mail day. Uh, Sunday selections, not mail day. But I'm going to get this one graded as well. Super clean card. Super, super clean card. Set that to the side. Then I have a Odegaard, red reactive. It doesn't really react. There we go. <laughs> nice. And then we're going to have a Mason Mount breakaway silver. Super nice card too. Don't have this on eBay yet. Brian Mwembo and Bemo. Not sure how you say it. But for Brentford, I think he's oh he's a midfielder. Okay, orange fluorescent. Really really nice card. And then definitely my hit out of mosaic, like hit of the year out of mosaic. <laughs> Be this Matt Target, orange fluorescent autograph. And I, this was just out of a blaster box. And these ones are numbered to 50, you can see there. This one is currently on eBay. It ends on today, actually, um, at 8 p.m. So if you are interested and you see this video, throw a bit in. Appreciate it. Leave that one out as well. Okay. So now, the rest of the prism hits. Let's go through them. So this was out of a mega for prism. Um, Callum Wilson Silver, not really much of a hit, but I think I was just sharing everything I hit out of it. Brian Wembo again, Mbemo, Mbemo, Rookie Silver, Etebo, not sure, Red Cracked Ice, Freddie Woodman, Red Cracked Ice, Livermento, Tino Livermento for Southampton. I believe he's a defender. And then I hit this Lakonga, which was super nice, I thought, for Arsenal. Another Odegaard. It's time for Prism. Bombier. Gonna miss him. But he's killing it at Barca, so that's great to see. Kai Havertz, Red Cracked Ice, and then we're gonna have another Chelsea player, Lukaku, Red Cracked Ice. Never panned out for Chelsea. And then another one I'm gonna get graded is Michael Elise, Red Cracked Ice. For Crystal Palace, midfielder. Cool. So then we're gonna get into some of the Sunday selections, and I think a little bit more of what I ripped. But let's see. Yeah, let's do this. Actually, let's do the rips first, and then we'll get into things that I found through the mail. All right. Ed Edward, red reactive mosaic. Boom. A William Troost Econ, red reactive for Watford. A Jared Braithwaite, red reactive. Joe Rodan, red reactive, rookie. Um, Lukaku again, red reactive. Chelsea, Kai Havertz, will to win. Been hitting all the Chelsea inserts, seems like, for Mosaic. Kieran Tierney, red reactive for Arsenal. And Lacazette, um, silver, nice card there too, and then let's do these two first, this one first, this Jacob Ramsey, silver mosaic, I'm going to get this one graded obviously, it's in a rigid case, so we'll do that, and then out of 
two mosaic, one mega, one blaster. I ended up hitting two Genesis. So the first one I hit was Brandon Williams with Norwich. Super, super clean cards, really nice in person. This camera does not do it any sort of justice, but super clean card. And then the other one is going to be a Timo Warner, which I hit yesterday out of a blaster. So the first one's out of Mega, this one's out of a blaster. And uh, yeah, already put it up on eBay and sold it. I just put it up for like $21, I think it was $20.99. And sold it mainly because Timo does nothing for Chelsea but he's a great international player so yeah I just decided to throw it up it sold super quick so I feel kind of dumb for putting it up for such a low price but I really just wanted to move it okay and then we get into really Sunday selections from the mail so let's go into the Norwich real quick we do have quite a few parallels of them. So we have Grant Hanley, a, uh, what is this called, a Hyper Silver. We have, I got this in a little bundle, Pierre Les Melu, Green Wave. It's hard to see the wave. Ooh, there we go. Non-numbered. You get these out of Blasters or Cellos, I believe. The Grant Hanley was out of a Hobby. But the, the Green Wave came with this um, Red Mosaic, which you can get out of a blaster. These used to be numbered in previous years. As you can see, no longer, which is super disappointing. They did away with that, and they did away with the Kabooms this year, which is just super, super disappointing. Prism was really lacking this year. The cards are beautiful, as you can see. The cards are just absolutely stunning, but... People tend to hate the photography. I don't mind it so much, but uh, 300 cards, like people just say it, it's just lacking, but it's the set what got me back into the hobby last year. So this is Millet, 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 sorry, Millet Rashika. This is the pink. So you can see there's really no number to it. You get it out of a hobby box. We have a multicolored of Brandon Williams also out of a hobby box. And then get into some of the numbered stuff. Um, Demetrius, not sure how to say the last name, Gian, Gianolis. This is the purple. I think it's out of 99. Yeah. So you can see here, out of 99, 6 out of 99, rookie. We have a Ozon, Kabak, Kapik, Defender. Out of 340, you can see that, boom. And then another purple of him as well, out of 99. Boom, cool. So into the more investment style stuff, and some of the higher end stuff. Let's do this, we'll go through these two. So I rip a hobby pack every Monday, and I've been doing Prism, so here's the like, hits out of that. Saman, jeez, Godos, <laughs> no idea, I'm sorry guys, that's the multicolored. And then of course the hit was a goalkeeper from Watford, Daniel Bachman, rookie at least, and 340, blue. Now, I picked up this lot of Josh Sargent, rookie optic, rated rookies. Rookie, rated rookie, optic, however you want to say it. But I got four of them, and I got it for $2. So Josh Sargent. I mean, he has done nothing for Norwich. I don't know if he's on the move from Norwich. He's not really playing for the national team at this point, so hopefully he can rebound. It's more of a long-term investment. And I also picked it up a while back. Remember, some of these things I'm not opening for three, four months after I've purchased them. I'm just that far back right now. We got this nice green mojo of Daniel Maldini, one of his only, if not his only, rookie card of um, that year, basically. You can see it's super clean. There was one thing wrong with it. I'll 
check the front in a sec. 99, it's out of 99, so 51 out of 99. I think it's more of this border here. You can see there's a gap between it and the edge of the card. Also, I think there's a scratch on the front of it too, but I was planning on getting it graded, but I don't think I am at this point. It's a nice card though. And that's an investment. I did pick up this Lakonga just for the PC. It's a blue parallel out of 340. It's just for my PC. And then I got all these Cristiano Ronaldo cards for 10 bucks. Granted, the shipping was outrageous. No idea why it was so high. But check these out. So this is just your base 2018 Cristiano Ronaldo. Nothing special. But then, got this Legendary Talents base. Just like a $30 card. Super, super nice card. I got this, I think it's a refractor, isn't it? Yeah, refractor 2020, is it? 2020, I think? Let me see. Whoa. I'm just missing it. Yeah, 2020. Cool. The refractor of Cristiano Ronaldo. Not the variation. This is just the base. Probably, I don't know, under $20 card. But then I got this tricolor select Cristiano Ronaldo. Which is so nice. And that was from the 2017 set, as you can see. Also, probably a $20 to $30 card. But then you get into the numbered stuff. You got this solid gold. I think it's gold standard, but it's 29 out of 79. Super duper nice card. Let's see the back of it. Pretty basic stuff, but it's thicker card stock. That's just, yeah, gold standard. It's still a nice card. That's probably a $30 to $40 card. And then I'm collecting the stallions. And this is probably the same exact price, right? So all in all, this is that 49, by the way. This is uh, the Panini Trouble set too. All in all, it's probably three, six, nine, and maybe 40. Let's say like 140, $130. And I spent in total like 60 bucks on Cristiano Ronaldo cards. Can't go wrong. Okay. Then I picked up this Lucina Traore. This is out of the Aoki, Topps Chrome Aoki set from last year. Rookie card, it's gonna be numbered to 99. I forget how much I paid for it, but really a long-term investment hold. Ajax, he's a solid forward for them. Cool. And then we got that really cool Connor Gallagher Red Prism. I think I paid around 30 to 40 for this. Maybe a little bit more. But really nice centering. Really nice card in general. It's out of 149. And uh, definitely getting it graded as you can tell. And then I'm going to round it out with one huge hit as well as three little hits for the PC. And invest basically it's a PC investment because I want to collect the whole set and then sell it. We got Thomas Party, the 2018 treble set. This one's a purple, so it's out of 49. You can see it there. Yep. Super, super nice. Also an Arsenal player, so I thought that was cool to add him. We got, and that's for Atletico Madrid actually, when he played for them. And then we got Jan Oblak as well. And purple, got these two together. So 11 for, out of 49, really nice card. And the one I just opened today, which I'm kind of disappointed about, you'll see in a sec, Bill Diare. Check out this weird like imprint. This is a gold too, so mind you, this is out of 25, but there's like a weird imprint on this that I just didn't bother to look on the image and see. You would think, holy crap, that sticks out. I thought it was maybe a hair. No. And it's not really a scratch because there's really no color missing, as you can see, like that. Right? So the card is like no damn. 
damage to it at all. It would grade really well if it didn't have that imprint. You can see it's out of 25. It looks like it's 11 out of 25. Nope, sorry, it's 16 out of 25. Super nice card though. And again, it's more for the PC, so I'm not too concerned with it. No one's buying DRA for investment purposes. But I have no idea. So coming back, Fenobank SK. I'm not sure who that is or what league it is. But um, yeah, nice card. Good color match too. And then definitely the hit that I spent some good money on would have to be this Eduardo Camavinga gold autograph rookie card. So it's going to be out of 50. Boom. This is definitely an investment piece for the World Cup for four out of 50. And it came from Australia. So reached out to the guy on Facebook, saw he was selling it, kind of chatted on the price a little bit. He came down um, just a little bit, not much. But when I bought it, I do not see, and it's really tough to see on this camera. There's a scratch. It's a significant scratch right here. Had no idea. He couldn't see it on the photos he took. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'll, I'll go ahead and buy it. And we chatted for a good bit just to make sure there wasn't any surface issues. Shoot, I get it. There's a huge scratch right here. <laughs> so disappointed because I was going to get it graded, but there's really no point. It won't grade that high as a 9 or a 10. I'm, in my opinion, it will probably be around an 8. But still a super clean card, super limited, so I know it'll be alright if I don't grade it. But yeah, that's the hit of the day. And then I'd have to include into this this Connor Gallagher. Boom. These Genesis, which I hit personally, which is super nice. And then definitely the trebles. So, those would have to be my hits. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, I'm not getting paid to do this, so it's really just my own money and the love of the hobby and getting to share it with you all. So, I do appreciate everything. I'm not going to hound you all to subscribe or like or comment because I'm just tired of doing that, and it doesn't make any sense. If you like this stuff, you'll end up liking it, so... Again, I appreciate y'all, um, and we'll catch you on the next one. So I'll see you, I think, on Monday. I'll do a short for a hobby pack rip. So catch you on Monday. Take care.